So this video is all about Adobe Spark page. Last week I talked about Adobe Spark Post to be able to create uh, simple cool graphics for any type of uh, project that you have coming up, whether it's for simple social media or whether you have a, a poster or a business card, whatever that might be. This week we're going to simply focus on creating a website through Adobe Spark Post. Once you log in with your free account, you're taken to the home screen and over here you have the create project option and you just want to go down to web page it'll load up a web page and then you have to give your web page a title and I'm gonna call mine franchise logos and then I'm gonna say cool logos because that's what we're gonna kinda talk about then you add a picture so you click on the little plus here because it's it's good to have a picture in the background we're gonna upload a photo uh, no I don't want to upload a photo yet we're gonna find free photos I'm gonna type NHL I'm gonna choose the Stanley Cup and then it loads in your picture that you chose from Adobe Spark. But if you don't like how it loads up, you click on the picture, and then you have the option to either replace the picture, delete it, or change the focal point. So we're going to change the focal point, and you click on Change Focal Point, and you just drag it to wherever you want. So I want a little bit of the dome there at the Hockey Hall of Fame, and I want to see a little bit of the Stanley Cup at the top. So that looks good. You can see the whole portrait here on the side. When you're done, you choose Save and then it changes your focal point. I think that looks a little bit better. You go down and then this is where you start to add sections to your website. Now it's not like a normal website you would find where you can click around and change buttons and pages. This is just simply a sliding scrolling website. So these are the different sections that you put on and the sections will break up and you'll see when we do the preview. You can add just a simple photo, some text, add your own button that goes somewhere else, uh, a video, a photo grid, a glide show, and a split layout. And we'll talk about each of these individually. But first, let's just do a simple photo grid. So we can do find free photos. So you can click on and you can add more photos if you want to. Um, if you don't like as you add them, you can just click on them and, and dump them uh, with the trash can. So I'm going to say, you know, let's, I, I like this one. And then I'm going to go back out and I'm going to upload some photos of my own. Let's pick um, all of these options that I have from before. We'll choose open these. It'll drop these in. And then I have a photo grid. Now, you can go through here and you can choose to move these around. So maybe I want to move the Islanders. Let's move the Rangers. So I can I choose the move forward arrow. And then we'll put these two blue colors together. And we'll put uh, Hartford and the Rangers together. We'll have the North Stars, we'll move them up, and we'll move the uh, Ducks down, and maybe we'll move the Ducks in the middle. Trying to figure out a good way to get these arranged. And you can choose, when you have these um, down here, you can make a larger photo if you want to, or a smaller photo. You are going to kind of choose um, where you want to move these around. When you're all done, if you look at it and you're like, yep, yeah, that, that looks good, you're just going to click Save. And then underneath it, you can add a caption. So you can say alternate logos, something like that. Now, as you scroll through the website, all right, we're, we're looking at franchise logos, and the first part we're doing is a photo grid. And so you can kind of look here. Oh, yeah, all right, well, that looks, that looks good. Now let's get into some information. So let's say, for example, I want to put some information. I have the Hartford Whaler jersey uh, logo right here. I'm going to put some text in, and my text is going to go. I already found some pretext here. So we're going to copy this. Uh, I'm going to throw this, all of this information in here about the Hartford Whalers, right? That's awesome. Now for me, I want to my students to find out, to tell me where they got their information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, here's the website I found on the, on the current.com. I'm going to copy this uh, URL right here. I'm going to go back to my Adobe Spark post, and then I already put this in here. I can add a link right here and I can paste in that website so now if people want to go back and find where this information came from we can do that and you can change the font a little bit in here but not too much so let's say for example November uh, 1971 I want that to be a heading number one. Oh, maybe that's a little bit too much okay I we're gonna we're gonna change that out um, and we're gonna go back to uh, we don't want that as heading number one because it's gonna it's gonna be too big right so we we highlight again what we have, um, and then we're going to change our font back to just regular font, and we don't because we don't want to do that. But if I take this and I do a return, now I can take this and I can change this to heading number one. 
right? Or I can take it to heading number two, um, or if I get rid of it, maybe I just want to bold it. So there are a lot of there are a few different ways you can change some of your um, heading styles in here. So if I do this, I can bold this again. Just simple little things. Now, if you're looking at the website going, okay, well, that's nice, but can I change the font any other way? Minimally. That's over here in the themes. So you look at your theme. You can try and create your own theme, or you can choose some of the themes that they have. And they don't have that many, you know, 3, 6, uh, 9, 12, 13 different themes. So when you're looking at these, this is the font set that you get with it, and then this is the color scheme that you get with it. So for example, if I choose Nightcap, now I'm going to get some darker colors, there you go with the uh, white font on the front. All right, that's fine. If I choose Whimsy, all right, now we're, we're getting a little bit different. We're getting our, our logo to change a little bit. If I choose Bruce, now I'm going to get um, the red outline on there. And again, it's kind of what you like and what you're interested in um, changing and looking at for your theme. Uh, for me, Nightcap is kind of the one that I really like to stick with. Um, I think it has a nice, clean, interesting look uh, about it. So this is my information for the Hartford Whalers. Um, that's great. And so uh, we're going to move on to kind of our next area here. Uh, and one thing I really like to do is I like to throw in a split layout. Um, and so if I throw in a split layout, I can add an image. And then I already have some images downloaded and ready to go. So we're going to go with a Quebec Nordiques next. So we're going to throw in this image. And there we go. There is where the Quebec Nordiques played. Uh, before they, they now became the uh, Colorado Avalanche. So I have this information here about the Quebec Nordiques, and I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to grab their information about what I want to put in here, right? So I click on this side, I add some text, and I paste in my information. So there's my information. It comes from Sports Team History. Um, whoops, here is my information. We'll get to that here in a second. Here is my website that I found on the Quebec Nordiques. So I go back in here. I highlight this information and I go to my link and I paste. Perfect. Save. Now I can um, change, I can customize my theme if you choose to upgrade Adobe Spark page, but um, that's going to be something you have to decide whether or not you want to do. So here's my information. As I scroll down, we've got the information on the Hartford Whalers. Um, so maybe I will put some text up here and I will say Hartford Whalers. Um, and then I will make this a huge heading so people know and I'll and then I'll center it for everybody so we know this is um, Hartford Whalers history just like that so that'll be perfect then we know that and then we've got some information here and then if I choose then I can say Quebec Nordiques history right and we'll highlight all this and I will center it and I will give it a heading number one and then we're kind of we're moving on now if I have the split layout for um, let's say Quebec and then I decide to add another split layout it automatically flips my um, split layout which is great because then it it kind of counteracts and maybe looks a little nicer if I want to keep everything similar I can choose the button over here and it'll put my information back on the same side as I had it previously but I, I like it to be opposite so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to add some North Stars information. History. All right. And like the other ones, we will make it a heading number one and we will center it. So now we're all set. So we will add an image. I'm going to upload a photo of the old Met Center. And it's at night. And again, if you don't like it, you can change the focal point of the picture if you want to, or you can replace the picture. And then I will put my information in about the Met Center. And so here is my information on the Met Center. We'll copy that. I will click the plus, add some text, and paste. Now, I found the Minnesota North Stars information on Wikipedia. So I'm going to copy that information, and I'm going to add the link to Wikipedia here. Now the next thing is if I want to add a video to go along with it, I can click on the little video button. Then it says add an embed video. So add a link from YouTube, Vimeo, or Spark video. So for me, I found this video on the North Stars from WCCO News. I'm going to copy that. I'm just going to paste it in here and I'm going to choose save. There you go. There is the video that I can put right along with my Minnesota North Stars um, information.
okay that's pretty cool or if I want to I can make the video larger and have it sit on its own and then I can say um, we can add some title and we can say Minnesota 50 year super fan like that right and we'll make it a heading number one and we will center it there you go and we'll maybe we'll just say Minnesota super fan and make it a little bit smaller so you can see how you can kind of change the look of this and it doesn't matter how many different text items or items that you have next to your picture it just kind of scrolls through and that's so that's how that works the next thing I want to show you is I want to show you a glide show so you can do the split layout look for your information uh, or you can do a glide show information um, so for us I'm gonna just add one picture I'm gonna upload my photo and this is gonna be um, the Phillips Arena where the Atlanta Thrashers used to play so we've got our information there I just I'm gonna do one picture you can do multiple pictures and then it will just glide through um, and so if you want here I'll just I'll add the other two just to kind of show you what those do so we'll, we'll add three so you can see now that the three and you can move these around so if I want the North Stars one to be on the top I can just move it up so if I choose save now as I scroll through this is kind of what happens you get Phillips Arena and then you can put your information about Phillips Arena here and then you get down here to the North Stars and you can do that and then you get down here to the call us say Pepsi Arena and you've got you've got this um, as well so if I want to edit this information um, I can edit my photos and I can go through here and I can click and I can delete them very very easily and I can easily add more pictures if I want to as well so we're just gonna add uh, delete the two pictures and then add some information about the um, Atlanta Thrasher so here's our Atlanta Thrasher's information I'm gonna copy this put the Atlanta Thrasher's information in here through my text and there we go in the hockey database and my hockey database is right here so I'm gonna copy this put that in my link so everybody knows where I got my information and there is my Atlanta Thrashers information um, that I have again I can click on the picture I can change my focal point I can edit the photos or simply just delete the picture but the, the glide show is kind of cool because when you're sliding through here you get to see the picture really really large on the screen but you're also going to get your information kind of gliding through uh, as you move along Now, if I'm going to add a button I can call my button whatever I want so maybe I want to call my button um, let's just go back to Hartford Whalers history right and then I have my link and so I'll copy this information I'll come back here I'll paste my website I can choose where I want my alignment and then I choose save and then here's my button nothing too fancy but you can see that you do get an arrow so if you wanted to list things down the way um, you know if you wanted to go and list things this way then you can have things go out there um, and we could say you know thrashers history um, and then if I have my thrashers database information here uh, I can paste and I'm just gonna leave it left justified and so there we've got my information I can edit this if I need to if I made a capitalization error or something so there you've got you've got your buttons so I showed you how to add a photo I showed you how to add text a button a video and I showed you the various layouts for your website when you're all done and you you're like yep this is this is the winner this is what I love you can preview it here and this is this is what it will look like when it's published on the web and you can see it's great super easy simple looks clean looks nice um, you've got all your information in there my links work they go where I need them to go the videos will play right from within my and they they play large so I mean things look really really nice I, I really really love the way that um, this looks so if I'm all set we did the preview um, if you are in class and you want to present you've got the presentation um, you can check out some of your settings um, show the header and footer um, if you have analytics tracking you can certainly turn that on and you can enable cookies if you want to do that the, the settings I never really usually mess with the last part here is um, you can share it so if I share it again you can print you can invite people so if you want to make the website collaborative in your classroom or amongst a few students you have the ability to make it collaborative with students who have an Adobe Spark account but to publish and share the link here you go so you've got this you've got your photo credits so the two that I added in my grid it automatically gave photo credits so if you save your information later on 
uh, or if you save your information from where you found of your photos, you can paste your information in the photo credit and then it will give photo credit at the bottom of the web page. So it's a good way for students to learn about work cited in their classroom. Um, and so they can give the work cited about where they found all of their pictures. Um, project featured in Adobe Spark website, you choose to turn this on or off. Ch students can choose to um, say whether or not they want to show who the author is. They can pick a category. I'm just going to pick education. And then they can create the link. So if you wait a couple minutes, it will create the link. Here you go. You've got your publish options. You can publish on Facebook. You can publish on Twitter. You can share to Google Classroom. You can email it out. Or you can embed it in another site um, that you want to. So if I copy this, there you go. I just go over to the web. I copy the link in here. And ta-da, here is my website. Again, my name is not attached to it, but I can create my own. It's got some um, stuff there. Here's exactly what my website looked like, the one that we looked at before uh, in our preview. And then at the very, very bottom, here you go. Here is your photo credits. People can give you an appreciate if they really like your uh, website. Great. It is appreciated. I love it. But that is a quick overview of Adobe Spark page. Um, I think the possibilities for it are pretty unlimited for what you can do. Um, there, it's really great about how you can uh, set it up. Um, it's really how you like it. Um, split views or glide shows or adding um, photos or just simply adding text in there. Um, you can really use it for anything. You can use it for showcasing history. You can show science experiments. You can um, do uh, some writing samples. Uh, lots of different ways to come at using Adobe Spark page. I hope this video was helpful and it gets you interested in creating your own website using Adobe Spark.